Hey everybody, Tech Chucker here, and today I'm going to show you how I uh, made my double hung windows for my brownstone project. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so in this video, I'm not actually going to show you how to make the door or the window jam. Uh, you can check out the my video on uh, just making the classic brownstone. Uh, so I'm not going to show you how to do that, and I'm not going to show you today how to make the actual window sash or these window assemblies. This part of the window is exactly the same. We're just doing it in uh, double, I guess. So you need to have a top and a bottom uh, window sash and your jam is going to be double the size. So my jam happens to be, oh, just about five and a quarter high and two inches wide and then my sashes are obviously uh, large enough or small enough to fit inside and what I do is I try to make sure that the overlap of my window sash is exactly the width of the top rail and that's that's important to kind of get a natural look so your your measurements are going to have to include that specific difference so it looks like this in the window otherwise you'd see something like that or it would be like that and it's not going to look right <clears throat> all right so the first thing that we need to do is we need to take and cut two small pieces that are going to be the length of your jam and this is what's going to help with the actual sliding of the window. It's going to keep uh, keep that window from falling out. So we're going to take where's my here it is. Take our hot glue gun and just put a little bit of glue along the edge. Line it up. And this doesn't have to be super perfect. Um, it just needs to be snug and straight. Wipe off the excess. And then do the next one. You don't need a lot of glue. The less glue you put on, the less you have to wipe off. And I flip it over and push down as hard as I can, or at least hard, so that it's a good tight fit. So now you can see inside, make sure that you're actually seeing in here, you can see there's a ridge in here. So the next thing that we need is we need we need a piece that's the thickness roughly of your top window. And this is going to be this is going to be a spacer so that you can mount your window your outside window properly. And that's going to give just the right amount of lift for your the outside top window which is stationary and give just enough um, hold to allow the bottom window to be able to slide up and down and stay in its position so that piece is just going to be it doesn't matter what kind of piece you have is going to be right at the top here you're going to glue it to these two new rails that we added. <clears throat> Just a little bit of glue is all that's needed. Throw that in. Hold it till it's dry. All right. 
So now we need we need to check to make sure that there isn't any excess glue along this edge or these railings inside. Otherwise, that's going to cause that's going to cause some issues for the sliding of your window. So I think mine's pretty good. So we're going to take our bottom sash. We're going to slide that right in because that's going to be the one that's furthest in. We're going to put that in. Check to make sure that it slides. And then we're going to take our top sash and we're going to put that in. Let's just check to make sure that it fits right. There we go. That fits pretty good. <clears throat> so I am going to take that out. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue along that board that we put in, just a little bit. I'm going to take, slide my top sash in, I'm going to press it, press it in as hard as I can, well, within reason. Give it a few moments. All right. so. Now you've got a window that can slide up and down. Now you have a choice. If it's still a little bit loose, because this bottom part of the sash should hold this up when you slide it from open to close, or from close to open. If it doesn't, <clears throat> then you can go ahead and try and slide some glue in between on this bottom edge. And this part's kind of difficult. Um, I usually will use either a, a, an extra piece of wood or something like that to slide the little tiny bit of glue in there. Um, <clears throat> I don't think this one needs it because it's holding pretty good. And honestly, you know, unless you're really rough with your dioramas, you probably don't need to. So that is basically your double hung uh, brownstone window with a operating window. I hope you enjoy. Tetris Brain Blast.